Kadyrov accused Prigozhin. The head of Chechnya, Ramzan Kadyrov, spoke about the conflict with the founder of the Wagner Group, Yevgeny Prigozhin. Kadyrov said that Prigozhin began to make veiled hostile statements against Akhmat's group back in May after the words of the head of Chechnya that his battalion would replace the Wagner Group in Bakhmut if Prigozhin's mercenaries left the city. To settle everything, Kadyrov called Prigozhin on the special mobile phone that he gave him. According to Kadyrov, they came to an agreement, but then Prigozhin issued a statement in which he said they tried to bring him to the rhetoric of the 90s and that national minorities can speak out against Russians and Russians against them with impunity cannot speak. Chechens in Russia are not a minority, but the third largest nationality, the titular one. It's time to know that, Kadyrov commented. He noted that no one promised Prigozhin a gangster arrow. From his post, it follows that in his conflict with the founder of the Wagner Group, a semicolon was put. Kadyrov also reproached Prigozhin for his criticism of the Russian Defense Ministry. Yes, I myself criticized the decisions of the Ministry of Defense a couple of times, but then I nevertheless understood one simple thing. From the height of the field of view of the Supreme Commander-in-Chief, you can see better. And if the decisions and measures suit him, then they are correct and beneficial for Russia. The head wrote, Chechnya, this conflict became known in early June when Prigozhin assessed the ability of the Chechen Akhmat Battalion to liberate the self-proclaimed DNR. In response, Kadyrov's associates urged him to stop talking and meet face-to-face. -face. 